Hi Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're gonna to be doing your reading from the 23rd to the 29th of August. Now this is gonna be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Virgo, In this reading, I'm gonna be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm gonna clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so your challenge is the King of Pentacles. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the five of wands in reverse. Okay, so Virgo, your challenge is the king of pentacles. I'm really getting with the king of pentacles two significant uh, stories here. Either there's someone coming into your life that's going to bring a lot of stability to you. could be another earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, or this could be you, okay? Some of you are achieving something great or you have achieved something great with the king of pentacles here. We're going to clarify and see what the message is in a moment. In the recent past, you have the four of wands the two of wands and the page of cups i feel like there was a lot of forgiveness here in the past with you and a specific person that you were in a relationship with i'm seeing that a lot of you were married to someone here in the past or um you could even currently be married to this person for others of you this was like a, a very strong connection here some of you lived together with this person and there may have been a brief separation with you and this person in the past but i'm also seeing a lot of forgiveness and apologies here in the past as well too there may have even been an offer here from someone who wanted to be in a relationship with you in the past okay we're going to clarify and see in the present moment, you have the Nine of Swords, the Three of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Looks like there's going to be a brand new beginning for you in the present moment that could lead to a lot of happiness, celebrations, can even be a reconciliation that's happening. A lot of you right now in the present moment are maybe dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or you could have this strong in your chart. I'm really getting there's a lot of fear and anxiety surrounding a new beginning that is supposed to take place for you. We're going to clarify and find out why in a moment. In the near future, you have the Two of Pentacles, the Death, and the Nine of cups so there's definitely something here that's coming to an end there is something that's going to be transforming and it may have a lot to do with a decision that you have to make some of you are going to be making a decision to focus on yourself or to pour into yourself and invest this is about self-love here in the near future and um, part of that happens or starts for you Virgo because you put something here to an end okay we're going to find out what it is when we clarify now what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck we have the five of wands the Queen of Swords in reverse, um, the Five of Swords in reverse, Sun in reverse, Empress in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Something here is no longer growing. Something here no longer makes you happy. Could be with an Air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or Fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I'm also getting Taurus and Capricorn very strong here. So something, what you don't see coming is the fact that there's something that's happening in your life right now where you see it. It's The truth is there. Everything is in front of your face. You can choose to continue to act like you don't see it, or you can say to yourself, okay, I see that this situation is not growing. It's not benefiting me. It's not increasing my income. It's not making me into a better person. So, and there's nothing but conflict. So a lot of you, you know, what, what you don't see coming is the fact that you're going to be disengaging from something here that's not serving you anymore. Finally. Okay, after a long period of time. So let's get into your reading, Virgo, and uh, let's see what's going on for you. Okay, so the first card I'm going to clarify is your challenge. Okay, so the King of Pentacles is clarified by the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. There's definitely an offer that you possibly want to make to someone. Um, it could be someone that you are newly connecting to. For some of you, this is new love. There's something here about someone here wanting a commitment with you. 
Okay, but it is difficult. It is going to require responsibility and work to have this connection. So a lot of you right now, your challenge has a lot to do with whether or not you actually want to put in the effort and energy into a new love, new relationship that can possibly lead to a strong commitment. But a lot of you right now are in this place of, of, of uncertainty. Okay, this is what I'm getting. This is part of your challenge. Now, another thing I'm seeing here is that some of you are going to be encountering a new love that's going to be coming into your life. Um, possibly around this time, maybe even possibly around your birthday, okay? So this is your challenge, this is what I'm seeing. Let's talk about the recent past. I'm gonna clarify the Four of Wands in the recent past. So the Four of Wands is clarified by the Temperance, the Seven of Cups, and the Empress. Okay, so there's definitely um, an energy here in the past, Virgo, where there was a lot of confusion. There was a lot of confusion, a lot of um, needing patience here. Things were growing between you and this person in the past, but I feel like there was a lot of confusion about where you stood with this person. For others of you, you were dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and this person may have kept their options open. You know, there could have also been, I'm really strongly getting here in the past, an open relationship, okay? Some of you agreed to have an open relationship or somebody here wanted to have an open relationship here in the past. And there may have been a decision that you had to make. Let's clarify the page of cups. The page of cups is clarified by the emperor. We have the queen of swords and the two of cups. Yeah, so there was definitely some sort of, a, you know, an apology here that, um, some sort of forgiveness or apology with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, maybe an Aries. And I feel like someone here apologized because they didn't wanna be in separation with you anymore and they wanted to come out of separation and have this connection with you. Now, in the present moment, there's a lot of anxiety and fear because somebody doesn't know if there's gonna be a new beginning with you. Tell me more about, we're gonna clarify the new beginning and see what it's all about in a moment, but let's find out who who's having this anxiety and fear in the present moment. Let's clarify. So the nine of swords is clarified by the devil, the five of cups and the moon. Yeah. Whoever this person is that you broke up with, that you're not with right now, that you're in separation. I'm getting a very strong separation here. It could be a Capricorn, maybe a Pisces. Um, there's a lot of sadness here. There's a lot of sadness here. This person, whoever this person is, they're sad at the fact that things didn't work out. They're sad at the fact that maybe there was a breakup or a third party situation. There's something here that happened that caused a lot of pain. And this person is praying and hoping and wishing that they can have an, a brand new beginning with you. I'm getting something about a phone call. Some of you are gonna receive a phone call around your birthday. Um, this person could wish you a happy birthday or you can receive some sort of message is what I'm getting. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Tell me more about this new beginning that's happening for Virgo. So the Ace of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Cups and the Five of Wands. Okay, so I'm really strongly getting here that in the present moment, somebody here is going to be offering you love, water sign, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But when you and this person come together to have this new beginning, because it looks like in the present moment, there is a possibility for a reconciliation and possibly a celebration after you reconcile with this person to have a new beginning. There is a conflict here. There's a conflict in the present moment or one that may be coming up because something here was not resolved between you and this person. And part of you having a new beginning with this person is going to require you and them to get down to the nitty gritty. What do I mean by nitty gritty? It means talking about the things that you haven't wanted to talk to them about. Okay. So that's going to be a part of this reconciliation. Whether or not you want to do that is going to be up to you because that's what your challenge is about, right? Your challenge is about possibly having a new beginning, but by having this new beginning, it is going to require work. I'm getting this for all the signs this week, okay? Um, the sun is changing signs from Leo to your sign. So there's a lot of unresolved things that are gonna show up for you possibly this week that still need to be resolved, all right? So let's talk about the near future. Now there is a decision, Virgo, that you need to make. We're gonna find out what this decision is when we clarify in a moment. But first, I wanna clarify the death. Something's transforming here for you in the near future. So the death card is clarified by the two of wands, the sun and the seven of swords. 
you have to make a decision here. Some of you are going to be deciding to put an end to maybe a Scorpio, a Leo, I'm getting Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Some of you are going to be choosing to close things out with this person because one, there's a lack of trust here. Two, a lot of you don't know if this person is going to bring you the satisfaction that you need. Okay, there's something here that is going to be transformed and it's going to happen because of the decision that you make. Tell me more about this decision that Virgo needs to make in the near future. So the two of pentacles is clarified by the three of cups. You have the six of cups and the page of wands. You need to decide if you want to have a new beginning with someone from the past. Or do you just want to choose yourself and focus on yourself? That's going to be your decision that you need to make moving forward. Okay, so let's get some advice for you, Virgo. What is the advice? I did say some communication, right? There's the eight of wands. I knew it was going to pop out. There it is. Okay. So your advice, Virgo, is the seven of pentacles. You have the chariot and you have the eight of wands. The advice here is, is that before you decide to make a decision, before you decide to move forward, because a lot of you are going to be in a place or a position where you may need to move forward. Before you move forward, there's something that you need to do. There's an important conversation that you need to have, especially if you are investing money, time, and energy into someone. There's something here about a conversation. I feel like there's going to be a phone call around your birthday that is going to help you make this decision before you decide to move forward. OK, so expect some sort of communication that may be coming in regarding this matter. This is what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you on the next one. Bye.